Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olean's.com Machine Embroidery Art. In the last lesson, we talked about the three stitch types, the running stitch, the fill stitches, and the satin stitches. And I mentioned to you at that time that only the running stitch does not distort if it's properly stabilized. So when you bring an image into your software, you want to uh, follow the running stitch because that is going to stay true to your design. And if you have problems with registration, it is the fills and the satin stitches that you need to adjust or put pull compensation. I'm going to try to explain it to you in these examples here. These are two fill to fill stitches and one is going vertically and the other is going horizontally. That means the vertical stitches are going to pooch out on the left and the right and they're going to pull in on the tops and the bottom. The horizontal stitches are going to pooch out on the top and the bottom and they're going to pull in on the left and the right. And so while this may not look like it's going to sew to meet this black outline and be perfectly rectangular, believe me, these stitches are going to stack up and they're going to meet with that outline and the uh, horizontal stitches are going to pull in and meet with the outline as well uh, the vertical stitches will pooch out and meet with the left side of the uh, running stitch outline. In the middle they should meet up perfectly right in the middle because this is going to pooch out a little bit more the green well and the red is, uh, uh, horizontal is going to pull in probably a little bit more. And these are rather large objects and believe you me you're going to have to put plenty of uh, pull compensation in them to make them meet up and register. Let's open up another example. When you have a fill to the run as I mentioned uh, when this, this one's going horizontal, uh, you need to have some pull compensation so it pulls uh, so that it will meet in with the running stitches because it's going to pull in on the left and the right and it's going to pooch out on the top and the bottom. A fill to a satin. Now satins are a little bit more forgiving. In other words, uh, you could actually even uh, with this design, you could bring that fill right up to the top and it's still you you don't have to have that gap but you could you have a good uh, let's take a look and see how that's a two millimeter satin stitch so you have two millimeters of pooch and pull to play with and another way you can correct it is you can give your satin stitch a little more uh, length if you want to make sure that it's being covered but you see how far we have it going to the end of the satin stitch there? And believe me when I say it's going to pull in, it may not be enough pull compensation. I've all had designs where I actually had to pull the fill out beyond the satin stitch. Now where you're going to uh, see the biggest problems is in the satin stitch. Satins seem to pull in the most and pooch out the most. Uh, especially with a, a long satin stitch like this. This is almost, I think it's a little over nine millimeters. So I may not have enough uh, pull compensation there. Your pull compensation is under your sewing attributes and uh, I digitized it like this. I haven't given it any pull compensation but let's give it another uh, a little bit of uh, pull compensation. You see how it pulled it out a little bit more? And, and the satin stitches, they really do stack up a lot more and it will meet on the tops and the bottoms of that. And the last one, satin to satins. And you see how much overlap I have here? That still may not be enough because, as I said, satin stitches really distort the most. They really pull in. Those stitches are going to meet somewhere in the middle, right down the middle. So I hope that helps you understand uh, pooch and pull or pull compensation and distortion and registration.